Oh, who say does that song? Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, thanks very much. Now, you know Giannis Adendokounmpo has one of sports' best nicknames, the Greek Freak. He said, when I first heard it, I was like, what's going on? Why am I a freak now? But then I realized it was about my athleticism and the things I can do. And so I embraced the nickname. I love it. And it's a part of me now. Kevin? It's a terrific one. David, thanks. He does stand out. Wow. <laughs> now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. They'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then there's Brown. And it's Walker in at the two. And for Milwaukee, Middleton the small forward with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. And it's Lopez in at the five. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history, I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. Antetokounmpo kicks to Holland. Pass to Lopez. Bucks passing it around. Here's Giannis. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are greats in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched sky hook which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills at seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindsets. And that one's good by LeBron. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. Boy, I tell you, you're right. You can feel this one looking like it's going to be a tight one throughout. Now here's Middleton. Lopez, a screen on Brown. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Davis. And this is an interesting time of the season, isn't it, Clark, for a lot of these coaches? Having to balance minutes and keep players healthy for the long haul. Yeah, it is a bit of a balancing act, Kevin. A lot of players don't like to take a seat when they're healthy and able to play. All of these guys, when you get to this level, everybody is a high-level competitor. And sometimes, even if it's for their own good, it's hard to tell them they got to take a night off. Again, I think you go back to reducing practice time and giving players a chance to play in every game that they're able to play in. And he makes both free throws. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year because we were in the Eastern Conference. But those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by him. Boy, once Giannis gets the ball in the painted area, Antetokounmpo is really almost automatic. Brown outside. He's looking for LeBron and finds him. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Man, is it easy to remain in awe of the greatness of LeBron James Clark. This is a guy that just doesn't seem to age. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really one of the remarkable runs in the history of sports in my mind, quite honestly, Kevin, on and off the floor. We know he spends a lot of time and money to keep his body in peak shape. He yet is still not showing any real signs of slowing down. We know Father Time is undefeated. I tell you what, LeBron is giving it a run for its money. 
Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Brown the pass to LeBron. Wide open look. Allen with the rebound. And so Allen will bring it up now for the Bucks. Giannis inside. Working on James. And that one, good. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Now the pass to Davis. Back to Beverly. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Holiday. Lock at six. Here's Antetokounmpo. That one doesn't go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Davis with a screen on Lopez. Los Angeles with another miss. So the Bucks, their last game, a win against the Knicks in New York. Holiday looking over the floor. Back to Giannis. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Giannis has got his third basket of the night. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. for the Bucks and the Lakers with some changes. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Reads the shots good on the assist by Schroeder. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Carter against Schroeder. Carter, the pass to Portis. Fades and shoots. No good. And it's the Lakers the other way. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with. Carter against Schroeder. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Now Carter, looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Portis can't get it to go. The Lakers trail. Schroeder with the ball. Over Carter. No good. That would have tied it. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Passes it to Nora. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Carter, the pass to Portis. 
That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Be a good-looking bounce pass to set up that one. There's a good screen. Outside Westbrook. The putback, and it is good at the buzzer. Wow! So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Bucks on top, up two. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Now here is Davis. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shot clock at five over Holiday. And Davis with the basket on the assist from Westbrook. It's all knotted up. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. Out of the Kumbo finds Holiday. Lopez a screen on Westbrook. Here's Holiday. Anthony Davis with the rebound. The Lakers shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. And looking at Anthony Davis, a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean, along with every team he's been on. This is a superstar player. I mean, he, no question about that. He can headline a roster full of superstars. Not much on the floor that AD can't do. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. 72% at the line this season. He has yet to set himself apart in that department. Two Guys, shots. he is close to where he was last year in that category, but uh, his numbers are still down just a skosh. On the free throw is good, now leading by one. And when people talk about defense, the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post area. And you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbow. So that's the edge of the free throw line. The idea to close down the pace. Boy, Holiday's a strong guard. Does not mind mixing it up at all. He can play physical if he needs to. Davis setting the pick for James. And it's off from three-point range. James has gone one of four from the field. It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. That's their third straight make off an assist. Now here's Walker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's sent back by Lopez. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. Giannis against none. Here's Holiday. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Fresh from a win against Portland. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Um, once that happens, then you're in trouble. And Milwaukee has possession after the basket by the Lakers. Connington kicks to Middleton. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Middleton's got five minutes presence of mind really important you know this game is more mental than physical and Middleton is a guy who stays in the moment he's exceptional at knocking down a good shot off a good pass kept alive James and there's two points working on the glass paying off that time LeBron's got four points in the quarter and so it's Middleton with it he brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks it's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. And he banks in the layup. He's got seven. Middleton so good under pressure. He's always composed and under control. James, a screen on Holiday. Outside, Walker. Pass to LeBron. 
fades back. That ball is in the basket. Now he's shot six and made three of them. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Giannis kicks to Middleton. Lopez sets a screen for Middleton. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Davis. You know, you can't say enough about how important Brooke Lopez was to the Bucks' 2021 title run. He gave that team an element they needed to get over the top, particularly as a rim protector and a guy who could score when needed. When Lopez Clark arrived in Milwaukee in 2018, it was a pretty good union, wasn't it? I agree, Kevin. I mean, he opened up their offense with his ability to stretch the floor as a big guy who can knock down threes. And then he really improved defensively and became an elite rim protector. The Bucks became a league power when Brooke Lopez arrived. And the title came just a few years later. No coincidence. Now, here's Brown. No points in the game yet for him. Schroeder outside. LeBron James on the wing. it out to Schroeder. Over Allen. No good off the back of the rim. The Bucks have gone four of six in the field here in the second. Outside Portis. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. And he uses the glass on the way. Lopez has got the lead up to four now for the Bucks. He is so tough to deal with inside. Lopez is too big and too skilled. And James throws it down. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they never get old. Matthews, no good. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. There's the pick. LeBron passes to Reeves. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Clock management. This is where they can get a two-for-one. And, Kevin, every opportunity counts. Allen, the bounce pass. Portis inside the three-point line. It's hauled in by Brown. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Bryant passes to James. Lakers passing it around. Bryant with a screen on Allen. Brown with it. He's picked up by Lopez. The score now all even. Bryant's got his first basket. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Budenholzer. Mike, you're at value. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. This string of games, it looks like there are some gimmies, but this is the NBA. You overlook a team, and you end up getting waxed. Obviously, coach is preaching that up and down. Sometimes guys just don't want to listen. All right, fellas, back to the game at hand. we got to discuss how dominant Giannis has been so far. Look, i got to praise what he's doing, playing with power, dominant in the lane. Almost looks as good as how I did. Almost. Very generous of you to heap that praise on him, big fella. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Taking a look at the Lakers. Well, go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. 
Then it's Troy Brown. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Walker in at the shooting guard. And Davis puts it in. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Now here is Holiday. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Second chance shot, and it's Lopez laying it in. Lopez has got it all tied up now for the Bucks. Yeah, bully ball in his way to the rack that time. Lopez with a great second effort. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. First free throw is good. Word has it that LeBron spends over a million dollars keeping his body in shape. I think that's a big reason why he's been able to enjoy such a long career, making that kind of investment into the tool of his trade. And both free throws good for LeBron. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. Lopez passes to Allen. Goes up on the wing, and it's Giannis missing. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. The lead is two. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. They'll face the Wizards. That will be their second of six road games for the team. Here's James. Some solid defense from Kumbo. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And they're one of four here to start the second half. One thing you got to love about Grayson Allen is his confidence. For sure. And every good player has great confidence. And with Grayson... It shows up beyond the arc. I mean, we've watched him naturally morph into a volume three-point shooter. And every team values having a guy like him because he can really stretch the floor and create good spacing for your offense. And the Bucks miss again. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. And it's Beverly missing. The Bucs have gone only 1-5 of five from the field since halftime. Really slow start offensively. Allen inside the three-point line. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. James in the post. Under the Kumbo defending. Yes, it is. Score that as a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. All right, Bucks fans, here come your Bucks teams deciding to change it up. Westbrook against Hill. Mora, the pass to Holiday. And again, the Bucks miss. Los Angeles leading by four. And Walker kicks to Westbrook. 
The pass to Davis. Inside. Here's none. Yes, that goes in. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis. Seeing the floor and making the right decision. Jaws under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Connington passes to Nora. Ibaka dishes to Holiday. Ibaka sets the pick for Holiday. They need this one. Trying to get open is Ibaka. The shot by Holiday, no good. Lakers have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Dunn looking around. Here's Westbrook, and it's blocked by Ibaka. The size, the timing of Ibaka, tailor made for protecting the rim. The kick out to Hill. Aston Moore. Six to shoot. And Ibaka slams it in. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Here's Norrell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And Davis sends it back. No, sir. Don't bring that in here. A.D. having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. He reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Bobby Portis has checked in for Drew Holiday. And the Lakers also making a change. Reeves has checked in. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his third foul of the game. And the Bucks making a change here. Carter's checked in. Ryan is checked in for Los Angeles. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Kendrick Nunn. Hill against Schroeder. Hill kicks to Portis. Let's the three fly. Rebound the Lakers. 51 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Carter against Westbrook. And he finishes nicely on the late run. And now an eight-point Los Angeles lead. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago and catching the defense flat-footed and taking full advantage. Big bucket there to extend the lead. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it to Schroeder. Let's it go with a three. That shot is off. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be back with you shortly. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. The four and five. Giannis and Portis. Sharing the wing spots, it's Allen and Middleton. And it's Carter in at the one spot. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And another thing, the defense didn't clog the lanes. They took full advantage with their ability to attack the paint on a lot of those possessions. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Javon Carter. 
And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Ask it good. Inside offense almost seems too easy for Davis, but it's not. I mean, you have to have a lot of confidence, strength, and skill to score against that kind of defense. Now here's Allen. Passes to Middleton. Giannis inside. Working on James. Good on the shot. And the key not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. And it's Davis missing. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. With his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting to his spots. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. Free throw good, Giannis. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Milwaukee making a switch. Lopez is checked in. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. And the Lakers call time here. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He was very fired up. He said, look, this is going to be a big win for us. We close this out, and we'll show the rest of the league who we are. All right, thank you, David. Now, here's Walker. Pass to James. Lakers working the ball around now. Davis finds Beverly. Davis with a screen on Holiday. And Davis throws it down. And Beverly has tremendous speed, both in how he passes and shoots it. Tough to cover in the screen and roll. Outside Holiday. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Here's Allen and the rejection by LeBron. Phenomenal work on defense. James using his athleticism to make a statement with that block. Under the Kumbo grabs the miss. Andre DeCumbo has got five rebounds tonight. And again, the Bucks miss. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for Los Angeles. Six-point game. And it's James missing. Bucks have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. At be honest. Here's Lopez. Lays it up off the glass. You know, this is what happens when you combine center size with developing point guard skills. Giannis running the offense to perfection right there. Now here's James. The shape. Goes back up. And he lays it up and in. You know, James came into the league in 2003, and despite that fact, he still plays the game with the desire and zest of a rookie. Still scrapping for offensive boards on occasion. And taken away by Brown. To the left wing. The dish to James. Davis inside. Under the Kumbo defending. He was all alone on that one. Brown's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, clearly a team first guy. He's got special talent, but he's not afraid to share the ball. Giannis, no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. 
James outside. Offensive rebound. Davis. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. Now, here is Holiday. Here's Giannis. Takes it off the glass. Giannis has got four points now in the quarter. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. And here is LeBron. Over onto Nakumbo. Again, James missing. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting for the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass first mentality at this point. There's the pass to Holiday for Beverly, and the shot is long. They can take their time on this possession. It would be a bad idea to just give themselves a little bit of a break. On the wing, Davis. Lopez with the block. Holiday against Beverly. And Davis sends it back. LeBron passes to Beverly. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And the Lakers lead by 11. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. And here is LeBron following the three from Drew Holiday. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's LeBron. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Outside for Davis. And so the Lakers take the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks. Here with Anthony Davis. AD, gritty win. What was the difference? Great grind. Came out the second half with a lot of energy, a lot of force. Coach got on us about not playing with force. Um, they were catching the ball too easy, wherever they wanted, and they were denying us. So for us, we had to come out in the second half with a lot more energy, a lot more force on the defensive end. We did that, able to come out with the win. Yeah, you really made it hard for them, AD. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.